Now, we're here today because we are all fed up. We are living by a two-party political system that's not doing anything for us. If anything, all they do is argue with each other. Today we'll hear Val saying, Labour, she's the change that we need. But at the end of the day, she is Labour. And she doesn't have the power to do anything against the political agenda of Labour. And she will blame the Conservatives, and the Conservatives will blame Labour. And that's the problem. All they do is argue with each other, nothing gets done for the people. So it's time that we stand here together united for change. It's time we use our vote to vote them out. Now I have a vision of Croydon where we can actually be thriving and have pride, bringing investment into Croydon. Why not take advantage of, for example, Gatwick? Let's drive business tourism. Let's create job opportunities. Let's lift people out of poverty. I've had to lift myself out of poverty and work hard and strive hard coming from an ethnic minority background, mm -hmm. but it didn't stop me from striving for that. And we can do that for our people here. We can have change, but we need to stick together and vote out the two-party system so we can have that change that we deserve. And we can have opportunities for our youth we can put money into our youth and watch them thrive and represent our country all around the world because that's who I believe in. I believe in each and every one of us and I believe in a new vision. I believe in a new Croydon and I know that we deserve better. So please, let's vote them out. And I, I've seen what she's had to go through being bullied by departments from within the councils. So for me, heads will roll. I will not tolerate. There's zero accountability right now. And I'm uh, sorry, if you're not doing your job and if you're really harassing any of our residents, you're out the door. I'm sorry. That needs to be addressed. I want to make sure every school has a counsellor from primary, secondary, going up to colleges, so we can do preventive measures. I want to make sure we have opportunities for our children because I tell you something, they're passionate and they're intelligent, but they're bored. They have nothing to do. All the opportunities between Conservatives and Labour have been stripped away from them. So now they're standing in the streets with nothing to do. And I tell you something, if you give them opportunity, they will lean into it. That's why I'm planning to open three Amplified Academies from the ages of six up to 21, which will teach them all the skills that they need from acting, singing, dancing, mentorships, um, apprenticeships. Really important. Let's help them become business people, business professionals. So that's another part. The other part is working with the parents. A lot of these fam families, you know, the children come from broken families and no one's actually trying to get into what's going on at home. A lot of the children, that, you know, the ones who have been the perpetrators, they were kicked out of school and no one did any follow up on them. They were just left there. And that is a big problem that's going on in society because we're not caring for our youth to see what can we do to change the culture? What can we do? Where have we failed you? How can we make things better for you? So we really need to address these problems by actually getting involved and most importantly, not the labour mission of putting millions into cycle lanes and LTNs. Let's put those millions into our youth instead. Thank you. Thank you.